Hey gamers, today we're diving into some spicy rumors about Far Cry 7 that could change the way we play the series forever. Word on the street is Far Cry 7 might introduce a 72 hour in-game timer, meaning you'll have to complete the entire game under strict time pressure. Yup, think of it like a Resident Evil meets Dead Rising kind of vibe, where the clock is always ticking, pushing you to make every second count. Now we know Far Cry has always been about big open worlds, taking your time to explore and getting lost in the chaos of enemy outposts. But what happens when you throw a countdown timer into the mix? This isn't just about exploration anymore, it's about survival against the clock. If these leaks are true, the game's setting will be on the fictional island of Kimson, overrun by North Korean insurgents. Your mission? Rescue your family before time runs out. Let's talk about the impact of this rumored timer. Resident Evil is a great example of how time-sensitive mechanics create immense tension. Imagine rationing your ammo, strategizing every move, and knowing that a single misstep could cost you precious time. Could this make Far Cry 7 even more intense? Absolutely, but it also risks turning off fans who love the freedom of Far Cry's open-world approach. The game is rumored to be inspired by Dead Rising, where the clock is always ticking. But here's the twist. Resource management might be at the heart of this gameplay, just like in Resident Evil. Picture this, you're low on ammo, health is dwindling, and you've only got a few hours left in game to complete your objective. That's the kind of pressure we're talking about. So what do you think? Is this time-limited approach a welcome challenge, or does it stray too far from the classic Far Cry formula? Could Ubisoft really pull off this balance, giving us a white-knuckle experience without making it too frustrating? Only time will tell pun intended. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Would you be down for a 72-hour Far Cry 7 challenge?